Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Ed McIntosh. Welcome back. Hey, here's some video from Russ Peterson, who was impressed with the size of the snowflakes, and it really just depended on where you were and what time of the day it was as far as the snow went. Now we've got the clouds around, and we're still hanging on to at least some of that light snow that just continued to generate throughout the afternoon and through the morning hours. Only at 19 degrees right now, a northeast wind at 14, so that drives the wind chill value down to six above zero, and it's going to be cold overnight tonight. Readings are already in the single digits in Lewistown, 25 in Livingston. Cody, you said 19 a couple of minutes ago, same as Billings. 21 in Sheridan, 18 over in Miles City. Still have some snow showers around, but we're really going to concentrate more on areas here through southern Montana and northern Wyoming as we start getting through the evening. Now you add that wind in, and I mentioned the colder wind chills around Billings, still breezy around Livingston. Cody, your wind gusts have been around 30 miles an hour, and some stronger winds up in through northeastern Montana as well from Miles City, uh, Glendive, Sydney, up towards Williston. Some of those wind gusts close to 40 miles per hour. So that really drives that wind chill down. Plus, we've got areas with limited visibility as well. So don't take anything for granted. Plus, there's going to be some areas where we're going to see some of the moisture through the day where the roadways stayed fairly quiet. They could start to refreeze really quickly. Now we're looking at snow showers in western and southern Montana here through this evening. It will continue to watch some of that into tonight. Now the hardest hit areas as we expected into the mountains and foothills, looking at some of those snow totals coming in a foot, two feet of new snow and some of the higher elevations. Cook City at 20 inches of snow. And this area will continue to see more snow through the evening hours of tonight where we remain under a uh, winter storm warning, but also winter weather advisories showing some travel concerns when we get into the eastern plains. Northeastern Montana, we already talked about some of the winds up there blowing some of that snow around and then maybe another two to four inches of snow through southeastern Montana and portions of northeastern Wyoming. So as this low digs in right here, it'll continue to dig across, creating more of these snow showers overnight. Now some of the bigger impacts here on this line from Billings to the south through areas of eastern Wyoming will continue to exit through the day. That's going to still leave us chilly well into tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll start to see some cold temperatures, especially Friday morning. That could be the coldest overall with the fresh uh, snow and the clear sky. But the warm up will start to dig in by Friday afternoon, and it really has a decent recovery by the end of the weekend. But check out overnight lows anywhere from single digits below zero from Haver or Lewistown to the teens above zero. And portion of the reason that we're going to stay a little bit warmer, if you can call it that, here through southern Montana is just because we got the clouds and the snow showers around that actually helped to hold up the little higher temperatures. So while we got single digits and teens overnight, we will see some clearing here in northeastern Montana start to drive that snow across the region. Much of this area from Forsyth, Hardin, Broadus, we'll see maybe two to four inches of accumulation. Tomorrow we're only in the 20s for most of the daytime high. Some areas won't even make it out of the teens. It will look for some of that clearing to happen as we start getting later on into the afternoon. In the extended outlook, we're looking at temperatures starting to bounce up quickly after a couple of really chilly mornings, reading in the teens, likely Thursday and Friday. Some of the area will be in the single digits with wind chills feeling more like zero. We will see that warm up that'll dig in into early next week. There's a look at the weather. Back to you, Janelle. All right, thanks so much, 